The Durham District School Board values the role that parents play in their child's education. We know that when parents are actively involved in schools with their students, students benefit and success is greater. The School Community Council provides a key connection between the community and the school. Working collaboratively with school principals and vice principals and school teams, they plan events that support greater parent engagement. This video will highlight four different Durham District School Board schools, their initiatives that were involved in creating positive parent engagement activities for their individual communities. So this year, uh, we created a virtual tour of the inside of our school. The reason for this is uh, from talking to parents and talking to students, uh, we found out that a number of people got lost pretty easily in our large facility. After working with students uh, and having them start to create this project, uh, we found that uh, it was a very creative way to introduce uh, the building and the facilities and all the programs that we have uh, to our community. So one of the things we did uh, in our planning process was we asked the students uh, who are currently at Uxbridge what uh, types of things they would like to see uh, if they were going to pursue this 3D tour. And they mentioned a number of key areas around the building and then we actually sent them out with the camera and the equipment to capture these moments around the school. And when they actually first saw the 3D tour uh, on a desktop computer and they were actually navigating their way around the school, a huddle of students started coming over because they were very excited at what they were seeing and they remarked at how handy this would have been for them and how it would have probably um, served them very well coming from their feeder schools into our high school. The activity that we've planned uh, this school year in my class is allowing students to speak in their own language during collaborative activities. Now they're allowed to do this not all the time, but they're allowed to do this when they're finding it difficult to understand a concept that has been taught. Uh, we most recently had our eco night for parents of grade three and grade six students, and that came out of conversations with parents in the fall meet the teacher night. Um, parents um, had concerns or questions about the, um, the actual eco process and how it is we are supporting our students to be successful and um, it was well attended. We had it here in our library and then we had breakout sessions for the parents in the grade three and grade six classrooms. Barriers we hoped to address through our parent talk meetings included a level of mistrust of our schools and our educational system as a whole, as well as a lack of understanding of the structure of our educational system, as we have parents that are born in other countries and may not have grown up in our school system. There's also um, parents who are making assumptions uh, based on their lived experience with the education system from years past. And education has come quite a ways, um, last five, 10, 15 years. Um, so it's also um, making parents aware of the opportunities and programs and access that's available for their students that perhaps was not present when they were in, um, in school. So last, I think it was in January, we had a Tamil Heritage celebration event. Uh, Tensa chose Terry Fox to host the uh, performance in the evening. We had um, workshops with the grade three students of Terry Fox. Uh, you know, some of the grade eight students came down and they were teaching them how to draw, write the alphabets, Tamil alphabets, and all the kids enjoyed it. You know, it was an event that brought the entire Tamil community of Terry Fox together, I would say. As we get to know our community um, and engage their voices, we do learn some of the things that maybe our teachers wouldn't anticipate or we wouldn't be familiar with in terms of obstacles. So the big one at Terry Fox is, is making sure that we are providing uh, support for parents who speak different languages in the home. We have about 75% of our students who are speaking different languages at home. So um, although our students are bilingual, our parents are not necessarily. So um, having interpreters, we, we work heavily with the uh, Swiss workers, the settlement workers in school. And as I said, we have staff that speak each of our main languages. So language has been a big one. It's been good for us not to speak for our community, but to speak with our community. And I think that's one of the biggest obstacles from their perspective, that we want to make sure that they're feeling included and heard in, in 
and what happens in the school for their children.